Okay, here are the majority of my citrus trees. I have one that's out of frame. Uh, it's actually, I guess I would consider my largest. I'll bring it in and, and show you guys uh, that one as well. But uh, here they are. Some of them I know look um, like they're suffering or look quite um, bare. And most of this was intentional. Um, this one here was unintentional. Um, in my last citrus video, you could see this tree was doing very well. It had lots of nice thick branches and foliage. And um, I had a, a bit of a mistake with this one. Uh, this one too, in the fall of last year when I brought it indoors, um, it suffered a bit. And I believe that it didn't get enough water. And you've got to be really careful about overwatering citrus trees. But again, you've got to have a balance. You, and that's the same thing that, that happened with this one as well. Uh, as you can see, they are in different pots. I've painted the pots uh, a nice white paint on the exterior uh, to prevent the sun from heating up. I find that black pots just really heat up. And here in the high desert it can really cause your um, soil in the pot to get extremely hot and evapor evaporate the uh, moisture uh, too quickly. So these pots seem to do better than the other air pruning pots that I made. Not that air pruning pots wouldn't work, it's just the ones I made, the fabric that I used was just uh, that landscaping fabric to prevent weeds from poking up and it was too too porous of a fabric you really need a thicker fabric in my opinion for the air pruning pots or perhaps my soil medium needed to retain much more water it was a combination of having a well drained soil medium and those air pruning pots that created a problem especially for this this tree that you see here because it dried out too quickly and I can now identify um, when the plant has had too much water and when it's had not enough when the plant has had too much water it will the leaves will turn a bit yellow and usually the the main like vein running down the center of the leaf will yellow and you may get some yellowing on other parts of the leaf as well and then it will drop so it'll drop these leaves that are mostly green with just a little bit of yellowing that indicates over watering not enough water the leaves were literally sort of browning drying up and falling off well I suppose I should have known but lesson learned um, I thought it, the plant was getting too much water because that's typically the case with citrus as to why they drop their leaves so I cut back on the watering this only made the matter worse and not only did the leaves fall off but nearly all of the branches died but there are signs of life I've got them now planted in these pots they're doing much better and I think these pots will fare well during the winter as well so winter time it's a bit <clears throat> it's a bit different you you don't want the soil to completely dry out to bone dry, but you really have to be careful about overwatering these these citrus, these kumquats, because they don't like a lot of water, especially in the winter. In the winter is what I mean. So let me bring you guys in, and I'm going to show you these other trees as far as why they look the way they do, but at the same time what um, the, the sort of growth that you can see going on okay so let's first take a look at what the Meyer lemon tree looked like you can see that when I first got it it had I think three main branches kind of coming out of the what some people refer to as the crotch of the tree and it was it had a very low center of gravity and for me, it was just too low. And this um, 
cause the, the lemons, the fruit, to basically lay on the ground. And what I wanted is I wanted to raise it up. So you could see in this photo that I, I cut off the excess branches. I raised one of the branches up and I staked it up. And I was hoping that it would put out branches like a tree. And as you can see up close here, once I put it out in the sun this summer, for quite some time during the winter, it, it didn't grow anything except for this branch and this branch back here. But now you can literally see branches all the way up and down this tree. And it's going to grow like a tree. With a citrus tree, in my opinion, you don't really need that, that crotch where um, you have at least three branches growing out of one area and you sort of, um, you want these three branches to grow and you want it to be sort of uniform. Now, citrus trees are a closed canopy tree, so you need uh, to have a canopy. It's not like your, your other fruit trees like apples or pears where it's really beneficial to have sort of that V-shape so the sun can come in. Citrus trees, as you can see, the, the, the branches have uh, chlorophyll, that green chlorophyll running through the bark. And it's very easy for them to get sunburned or damaged by the sun. So uh, having a closed canopy really protects these trees, um, and, and that's what they need. So growing it up like a tree like this, I, I will have a, a really nice tree that is going to look well cosmetically, but it will um, also, um, I'm sure, put nice fruit for me. Now here is the mistake. Now the mistake tree, um, very nice signs of life, new branch growth coming out. So it, it'll look nice um, by fall and hopefully by spring next year. Hopefully no more accidents. Um, it's also decided to put on quite a few flowers here. So I probably really shouldn't let it um, fruit and uh, those may fall off anyway given the current um, health of the tree. All right, this is my pink lemon and same story as the Meyer lemon. This pink lemon tree, it, uh, it had a lot of branches, a lot of foliage. It was a big, beautiful tree, but it was just growing really strangely. As you can see, there wasn't much I could do about this, but um, the, the branches were just kind of going everywhere. It wasn't uniform. There wasn't any proper crotch. In what I decided to do was prune the branches and leaves and then the tree immediately put out four branches at the top, okay? Now, I was a little bit concerned because it hadn't started putting any branches down lower yet. It decided to start putting on some buds instead. And I'll take you in over here where it has a nice big flower bud there. Now, is it going to produce pink lemons? Um, that's... Uh, hard to say. Should I let it produce pink lemons? Probably not yet. Um, one of the awesome things recently that I have seen is that it is producing, it is producing a branch. So I have no doubt that it will produce branches all along the stem eventually especially since I do believe that they really like these <coughs> air printing pots. All right, so here is the smaller kumquat tree. As you can see, it sort of has a proper crotch uh, where it has four or so main branches coming out. Um, this tree did flower, but I don't think it's going to produce any fruit, like I said. It's, um, it's bouncing back from uh, something as well.
So in this uh, new pot that I've got it in, I haven't gotten around to painting this pot white, but <clears throat> it seems to really like the this type of pot because it's really growing well. All right, here is the kumquat that I planted from seed, and it is doing pretty decent. Um, it's got some a bit of something going on with it, uh, but it doesn't look like anything serious. I think I'm going to change the, the soil out. Um, so it's showing signs of a magnesium deficiency, but I know that it is not deficient in magnesium. If you give a plant too much potassium, will appear to be a magnesium deficiency and uh, it's, it's got too much potassium so I'll repot it and uh, see if that helps by the way um, many people have said it's not possible to grow kumquats from seed the seed actually is um, true it's what you call a true seed where it's true to the to the variety you know the DNA um, it will produce the same tree the seed and it will fruit so I can't remember what what the name of it is but I'll go ahead and put on screen the name of what a kumquat tree actually is because it actually isn't your standard citrus tree all right here is one of the cuttings the citrus cuttings that I started so whenever I cut the branches or the, not really branches um, Yes, I guess branches, leaves, and some of the lower branches off of that pink lemon tree. I rooted a couple of the cuttings, and here's one that survived, and it's doing quite well. The top five leaves are new growth, so it's doing very well, and I will bring you updates. All right, here is the lime quad. It is doing quite well it suffered a little bit of leaf burn when i first uh, put it out i put it in uh, direct sun i did try to give it a chance to harden off for a couple weeks under this uh, shade cloth but um, it it didn't like the full sun so i pulled it back and it's done quite well so it's got some new branches side growth quite a few little branches that have started coming out it's thickening up a little bit so uh, within the next year or two it's, it's going to be quite a nice uh, citrus uh, uh, lime quad okay the last one that I have to show you is this Oro Blanco citrus this is an Oro Blanco grapefruit Oro Blanco meaning white gold and it produces, as you can imagine, a white grapefruit. And it is supposed to be a nice, sweet grapefruit, not a, a bitter grapefruit like your traditional grapefruit. Um, typically, people would eat a traditional grapefruit with some type of sweetener, sugar, or something like that. This, you're supposed to be able to just take the grapefruit and eat it just as if it were an orange or something like that um, it's supposed to be really good tasting now I wasn't planning on getting more trees but a nursery in our area uh, was closing down and the guy knows that I um, I like citrus trees and he tried to, to sell it to me and I was like geez you know I really don't have the space and uh, what he was asking uh, $60 for this tree he says I'll sell it to you for $15 and well how could I pass that up I was hesitant uh, before he said that because the entire tree was covered in scales as citrus trees often come with scales but this one was pretty bad um, in fact you couldn't really see the branches or you know the, the bark on the tree because it was literally just covered. Uh, as soon as I got it home, I, I had to spray it down with a, a high-powered um, hose. N not really a high-powered hose, but you know you put your hose on a jet spray. And uh, I was able to wash away most of the scales and uh, 
with just a little bit of organicide spray, um, I'm able to fight back the scales. Luckily here in the high desert, it's not really the preferred climate for scales, so they, they should um, die off. But uh, anyways, very beautiful, very full tree. I had to do a little pruning, um, a little bit of adjusting uh, of some of the branches to get it to be more symmetrical and grow in the direction that um, I need it to grow, to be balanced, to hold itself up, to support fruit. And I look forward to bringing updates on this. Hopefully next year we'll have some grapefruit. Thanks so much for joining me in this episode. Hope you enjoy uh, watching the, the citrus trees. If you're interested in getting your own citrus trees, yes, they are a bit tricky to grow, but uh, once you get the hang of it, and, and I really feel that uh, I'm on the right track here. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.